Hello everybody, my name is Madison and welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. Nope, I did that backwards. Anyway, happy 2023. It is somehow a new year. We made it through 2022 and my goal, my mindset for 2023 is to make 2023 the year that we all thought 2022 was going to be. Because in my mind, 2022 was a failure of a year for a lot of people. Granted, I graduated high school uh, in 2022 and I also got a part-time job that I adore in 2022. So a lot of good things happened, but I feel like I can have a better year in 2023. And that's what I'm going to do the absolute best to do. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to be doing differently, trying to do differently, and I definitely plan and want to make a video on it in more detail and in more depth when I uh, have done it for a little bit so I can actually uh, talk about it <laughs> instead of just not do ideals but do what actually happened, do the realism. So yeah. But today, we are here to do my Notion, to use my Notion template, and to do my Tool Vector Schema. Schema? Yeah, Schema. Uh, AKA, my two week plans for 2023. Basically, this is my work schedule, and I get, a new, I get my weekly schedule every two weeks. So the idea is that every two weeks, I will sit down and I will plan out my weeks. Um, I'm starting college the 16th of January, if everything goes correctly. So this is what the schedule is going to look like before I start college. And then I guess I'll have to make another one when I actually am doing college. And I have to fit that into my schedule. But, but first, we're going to do it this way. Basically, I'm really happy to have the first two weeks of the year just as I have had my life going for the past couple of months since graduation because I'm going to use these two weeks to build up a routine and then have a wrecking ball that is college and classes come in and kind of mess up the routine but I'm going to do my best to work really really hard to get used to as much as one can um, a schedule and yeah so let's just get into actually planning it this is something I'm kind of, I mean, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to plan this out. I've been wanting to plan this out for such a long time. Ever since I made this Notion plan, like in November, I have been wanting to sit down and do my two-week plan. But I had to wait for this, and it came out today. So, of course, I could not wait any longer. So, first thing that is up here on my two-week plan is my resources for the two weeks. I got a Swedish drop-down. American Sign Language, Russian, which I actually have a good amount in, um, and then Spanish, which I have a lot of resources for Spanish, but I only put the ones that I think I'm going to use the most of. And I'm going to be using the free version of Busu and see how that goes. So January 2nd to the 15th. That will be the two weeks that we do. So Sunday is the second. Uh, actually, Sunday is the first of the year. Oh, and I don't work this day. I work the 31st, uh, but we're closed for the first and the second. Um, so Sunday and Monday, I don't have any work. I don't really know. I don't really know how to plan that out. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I should do. So that is what the week, that's what I ideally would do in a week. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is exactly seven days. That's pretty good. Um, I do obviously have an idea like review, passive, active, active, passive, active learning. So I can try and work that into learning my languages as well. But Mondays are you so Sunday the first. I want to start off right away with Russian alphabet. I am so excited to start this language. I need to start off the year with it because hello. So obviously I'm starting off with that language. And this is going to be two and a half hours on the first dedicated to this language. So I think we're going to study the alphabet for... I'm trying to think. I could do one hour of alphabet 
So one hour of the alphabet and then I could do one hour of vocab is a lot. So maybe like, I know, let's do, because I have videos. I have videos that I want to watch for the Russian alphabet. So let's do, you know what, let's do like two hours. And then I want to do 30 minute uh, show to get start getting used to how the language sounds. I might not do a whole two hours dedicated to the Russian alphabet, but I will have two hours and 30 minutes dedicated to the language somehow. I just don't know. Like Two hours is a long time to do one specific task, but I'm going to go through my YouTube videos that I've been saving up and practice writing. I'm going to do a lot of stuff within that two hours for that topic, and then I'm going to have to spend 30 minutes watching a show of some type. I don't know what show. If you have any suggestions, rec actually, I mean, yeah, if you have any suggestions, link them down below. But this video is going up after I've made this, so, and after the first, so, it's already happened. Okay, Monday, so I have five, I have 2.5 checked off there. So, now I just have 2.5. So, let's see, I need to do ASL and do Swedish. Monday is review, and I don't work on Monday, so I think I'm going to do two hours of study. That's a lot, though. It's a lot, because ASL, I really just need to learn vocabulary. So one and a half hours of constant vocabulary is a lot of time to dedicate to it. So maybe I should spread that three hours out into 30 second increment or 30 minute increments okay so six days is how many how many days I would have to do to study ASL in 30 minute increments and I think I'm gonna do that instead of the con like the 1.5 because it's basically just vocabulary and that is a lot of vocab to learn like that's a long time to learn vocab and I don't think it's going to stick much so instead I'm just gonna do 30 a review show, and I'm also going to do 30 minutes of ASL vocabulary inhale. You know what I mean? That's going to be on all of these. So 30 minute ASL, because I can do ASL practice for like 15 minutes and my hands start to hurt. So to do uh, one and a half hours is insane. Um, so we're not we're not going to do that. And this, I might need to change this because of my work schedule. So we're just going to have to see. But I'm going to write it down anyway. 30 minute ASL. And then Friday is 30 minute. Okay. So let's see. So that is Sunday complete. Monday is now 30 minutes dedicated to ASL. And... I'm trying to think because I don't know if I'll go to my dad's that night. Okay, I'm going to do Swedish as well. I'm going to put an hour and a half of Swedish on here, I think. 1.5 hours of Swedish. So there is Monday. Um, Tuesday I work 12 to 4 and Wednesday I work 9 to 1. So, Tuesday, 12 to 4, is right in the middle of my day. So I could do, like, 30 minutes of ASL in the morning before I go to work, and then I could do an hour of Spanish on Tuesday. So, alrighty, and then Wednesday is 9 to 1, 30 minutes of ASL. And let's also do for Wednesday, let's do, I work 9 to 1 though, so I'm not sure if I'm going to really want to do that much. So let's do an hour of Swedish on Monday, and then I can do two hours of Russian on when, ugh, two hours, of, no, two hours of, on Wednesday, okay. 30, so I still need 30 minutes of Russian and two hours for Swedish. So we will do um, 30 minutes of Russian, maybe like a television show, 
And then I will do one hour of Swedish on Thursday and another hour of Swedish on Friday. Which, oh, I do work one to five on Friday, so, but I don't work Saturday. So what if instead we did 30 minutes of ASL and then 30 minutes of Russian? Because I go to my dad on Friday, so I would need to factor in that time. Um, and then Saturday I can do one hour of Swedish. So I'm getting all of my Russian, and let me, you know make sure I got everything in for that first week. So we have two for Russian, two. So I have enough for Russian. And then for ASL, let's see, 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. Plus 30. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's good. Got my one of Spanish, one hour Swedish, one hour Swedish, one hour Swedish on Saturday. Alrighty, so that's that. <laughs> we have the first week done, and it only took us like 16 minutes. But every like 14 days, I'm going to do, I'm going to take a Sunday off. So I guess it wouldn't be this week that I would do it, but it would be the Sunday following this that I do it. Let's see, because I have... One Sunday, two Sunday, so the 15th would be the Sunday I take off. First, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. Okay, so next Sunday. <laughs> the one that's not in the schedule. I'm like thrown off because of the dates. So that's me one. Okay. So now for this Sunday, I think I kind of want to change it a little bit because the 15th, I work 1 to 5. And Saturday, the 14th, I work this day, I work 8.30 to 5. So I think I want to do my smallest amount of studying on Saturday just because I'm already going to be, like, I'm already going to have a very full day of work. So... Do I want 30 minutes of ASL and 30 minutes of Russian? Yeah, we'll do 30 minutes ASL. Oops, ASL. No, just go down. And 30 minutes of Russian. Okay, so that's Saturday, and that's already 30 minutes off. So now I just have four and a half hours <laughs> to fit into the schedule. Good thing is I only work Monday at 4 to 8 and 2. Thursday, 4 to 8, because I work the weekend. So, I have plenty of time. So, Monday is going to be review day. And then also, well, Mondays are review days, because I go to my dad's. I might just do, like, 30 minutes of Swedish listening. Okay, now I'm getting too many numbers in here. So, I have 30 minutes of that and 30 minutes of that, which means I need four and a half and I need two and a half. Okay, so I need two and a half of Swedish. Let's see, what am I going to do on the Sunday? Should I do Russian again? What should I do? Maybe Swedish. Let's do, let's do Russian. Let's do Russian. Let's do, if I do two hours, I, I have a haircut on the 7th. I have a haircut on Saturday. Okay, then that'll be fine. So Sunday, I won't have a haircut. Well, I'll be free all day, aside from spending time with them. So let's do, obviously, the 30 minutes of ASL. <clears throat> of ASL. Sorry, my voice broke. Uh, and then that means I would probably prefer to take Friday off for ASL so I can take a break in between the start. But I'm taking Sunday off. Oh, I'm not doing it Monday. Right, right, right. So then I would have to do it here. This is kind of, this is kind of complicated to look at and think. One hour, two hour, three hour. Okay. 
that will be great. So then now I just need to fill in 4.5, 2.5, and 1. Thursday, let's make Thursday a Spanish day. One hour of Spanish. Um, and so that's that. And then let's see. Now I just need Russian and Swedish. I'm doing 30 minutes of listening on Monday for review day. So then Tuesday, we'll do Tuesday I don't work. So Tuesday will be two hours of Swedish, which means I just have another 30 minutes. I keep thinking I have, okay, it's not, are you serious? Did I accidentally click Numlock? Like, what are we doing? There we go. Which means I just have 30 minutes, because I have two hours, 30, so I need another 30 minutes of Swedish tossed in here somewhere. Hmm. Let's do the last 30 minutes of Swedish on Friday because I, I'm i studying it back to back Monday and Tuesday. So let's just do another 30 minutes of Swedish. There, I don't know if it's gonna be listening, reading, vocab intake. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna happen on that Friday. And that 30, that an hour of study on Friday and an hour of study on Saturday will be good because I work Saturday. So it's kind of like Friday is an easy weekend day and then Saturday is boom, full day of work, but still I will fit studying in. So now I just need to fill in Russian. And holy moly, I still have four hours. So I'm gonna need like two, two and 30. Which I'm thinking Tuesday we can make, Tuesday would be a three hour study day. 30 of ASL, two of Swede, and 30 of Russian. So I guess we could do that. Wednesday I don't work, so I could technically do, so technically we could do that. Thursday I work four to eight, so I don't want to do too much there. Because I still want to make sure I can get my workout in. Sunday, let's just do that. Let's do, no, let's do 2.5 um, here and then do two hours there because that'd be two plus two and a half, which would be Four and a half and 30 minutes of Russian. I got 30 of Swedish, 2, 2.5, and then 30 of Swedish on Friday. That, and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of ASL. So that looks like the schedule. <laughs> this looks very reasonable and doable on screen. I will definitely try and like do to-do lists and to-do tasks when it comes time. But this, the most I think I have each week is a three hour study session. And then this second week, I got a two hours and 30 minutes study session. But other than that, this seems like very reasonable, very doable. And I am just super excited for the new year. I guess when the video goes up, I'm already three days into it. So I hope I'm doing good. And I want to know what you guys, like what is your goals for 2023? How are you doing with them so far in the year? Um, if you're wondering what Notion template I'm using, I'm, uni I'm using Anna, Anna, I'm sorry, Anna Links, Links. I will leave her channel link down below. She has a video on the template. I did go through and change it but uh, I changed it to fit my needs, but I am very excited to start this off. And I only have four days left until the first of the year when I'm filming this. So, y'all, we are so stinking close. But yeah, that looks doable. <laughs> I hope I don't come back to regret that. Um, so yeah, if you are wondering what types of videos I'm going to have coming up, I plan on posting my first ever study vlog for Russian on the 12th 
and I also plan on doing a study with me on the 23rd and an ASL vlog on the 31st, a study with me for ASL. Um, I also would like to do a video related to the start of college, but that would depend if I start on the, the planned day. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have like a two week plan or a month plan or like how do you plan out your study? Do you plan it out at all? Uh, this is totally new for me because I've never tried to take on this much and then halfway through the month it'll be even more. I've never tried to take on that much. So yeah, but it gonna be good. We're gonna do, we're gonna do great. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget I'm a freaking bulldozer and uh, goodbye. Hey Dua. Adios.